from 2020 to 2021, twice the number of lives were lost to fentanyl. 12 young people under the age of 17 lost their life in San Diego County to fentanyl in 2021. The influx of illicit street fentanyl has been a game changer. In response, harm reduction strategies are now at the forefront of our multi-pronged response. In May, you may recall that I signed an Naloxone standing order with guidelines and instructions to distribute and administer Naloxone in the event of an opioid overdose. Today, we are even preparing for the addition of Naloxone vending machines that will be distributed throughout the county by the end of the year. The most impactful thing that we can do that really speaks to the meaning of today is to collectively commit to ending stigma around substance use disorder. Let's embrace the services that we know work. Let's support people in recovery. Today is the best day for everyone to begin a recovery journey. As I look over the purple flags uh, behind us here, I know that all of those people came through the medical examiner's office. 1,303 people dead because of drug, drug intoxication. You may be thinking this will never happen to my family. Think again. We are in a different time where drugs can be purchased on Snapchat and through other social media avenues. Connor did not overdose from taking a handful of pills. He died from taking one that was laced with fentanyl.